my name is Diane Hockman. I'm here with Chris Kelly, who is up in upstate New York. Chris, is it still snowing or has it stopped? That is the big question. It was definitely cold enough to snow today, but it didn't. The sun, sun actually came out. Right? It was sunny today, but cold. But I hear around here by Thursday, we're getting into the 60s with rain. But 60s, it's coming. It's coming. I swear it's coming. Um, so good evening, everybody. We have a very, very, very big um, webinar for you. In fact, I brought Chris over. If you guys haven't met Chris, he's awesome. And I'm going to be truthful. I brought Chris over because this webinar might actually make me a little bit emotional. And I need, I need a big teddy bear of a guy to look after me just in case. So uh, get permission from your wife, Chris, if I need a, a, a in it hug, um, because I'm going to show you guys some stuff that really and truly changed my life and things that I've never shown anyone really. Um, man, if there's five people that know me that have seen this, it's a lot. Um, so we're going to make it start. First of all, if you haven't met me before, um, I am uh, a 15-year home business industry that started back in fall of 1999. Um, I am an L6 leader here at My Lead System Pro. And by the way, I know we have a lot of guests tonight. Welcome, guys. Uh, you know, this isn't just for, um, usually it's just uh, members hanging out, but we invited everybody tonight. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so L6 leader means, um, I don't know, Chris, what does it mean? I guess I'm a kind of a big cheese around here um whatever oh, there's a lot of us that have made it galactic something galactic, or other, right? yes, that's galactic. A, I'm galactic. galaxy leader right? yeah. <laughs> so um so that's kind of exciting and i've been doing this for many many years and uh have been doing attraction marketing for many years and that's the topic of tonight's webinar attraction marketing so first of all let me take a quick look in the chat and get some shout outs um guys grab a pen and paper because you're going to want to take some notes but just before we do that a little housekeeping uh tomorrow night at 9 p.m we have our weekly uh industry-wide webinar we've been doing them for like i don't know seven years now however long it's been a lot of years now uh we're going to have incredible mark lalan's going to be on teaching you some of his lead generating tips and he's going to be teaching you about our incredible crm tool which is a customer retention um management tool and it'll help you follow up with the leads that you generate so it'll help give you great uh, follow-through retention etc etc and Neil Kunjal tell me if you are able to come out or if you're with the kids because you are somebody that would be great to bring over tonight too um, so that's going on tomorrow night um, and then of course hey Mark every um, Monday night we have our new members call with Dean Black or Mary Black one or the other or both um, and then Tuesday night, we are here doing the round table. That's what it's called, Chris, the something round table. This is a round table. I happen to be sitting at a rectangular table, so I don't know if I'm doing a good job. But So <clears throat> I'm going to tell stories tonight. Are you guys up for telling stories? Hello, Keith Spencer. That's good to see you. I'm seeing a lot of buddies, a lot of buddies. Hello, Miss Debbie, Clive, Chris, Robin. Tommy D's in the house, Jessica. Okay, good. You guys, okay, let me grab a Neil because Neil says he can come out. And then I'll have two big strong men in case I get emotional. And guys, why would I get emotional? I'll tell you in a minute. You'll understand. Uh, it's pretty cool. Chris, you jacked to be over here. It's kind of fun to come out and hang out, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. It is awesome. We can do whatever we want. So we can bring people over, we can kick them out. That's what I love. You hit one button. Chris, if you misbehave, one button, you're out of here, man. You're done. <laughs> All right, I'll be good. <laughs> and by the way, guys, I, I already talked to Chris's dogs, Buddy and Tyson, and they are very chill right now, but they do get a little excited. So you never know if they get excited. So if uh, Chris is, a, and, and Anil's giving us a tour through the house. <laughs> Anil, you're on a PC, right? Nope. No. No. <laughs> All right, we'll let him get situated. All right, so, um, okay, I'm going to take you way back. Um, so it's 1999, um, Chris, and um, I uh, had left my job, and I was bringing up my two little girls who one of them just walked in. Uh, they're almost 19 and 22 now. Um, but I was bringing up my little girls. I had left my job to be with them. You look great, Anil. You look super cute. I haven't seen your face in a while. Um, <laughs> um, and um, 
because I had left my job, I used to work in education, and Chris is in education as well, um, I, uh, I was used to a certain lifestyle, had a good job, I worked for the state of Connecticut at one of the colleges, and um, kind of just kept spending my salary that I wasn't receiving anymore. So over the course of a little while, um, I basically racked up an incredible amount of debt. Um, well, depends on who you are. To me, it was incredible. It's about forty thousand dollars of credit card debt, and then we had the mortgage and the cars and all that other stuff. Other people think that's a you know. I've heard people that are like, "Oh, well, I can top your debt. My debt was this much." So sometimes we have a little competition. But forty thousand dollars hanging over us, bill collectors calling. Um, it was not a fun a fun game. Um, they were just calling constantly. And if any of you guys have ever been in that situation, you know how. Uh, how enjoyable that is. I, I pray that you were never in that situation, but if you've been there, you know. So um, I was looking for ways to make extra money. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I used to do floral arrangements and make crafts. I had a, a, a stall at craft malls were really popular back then and all this other stuff. And so um, I was doing that and pinching pennies and you know, trying to figure out, you know, whether we're going to have dinner or pay the electricity bill, um, all that other good stuff. And that's when um, my husband's cousin sold me some diet pills. And um, I started using some diet products from him and, and they worked pretty good. Actually, and, and by the way, the, the whole story, the true story is I couldn't afford them. And I didn't know how to tell him no. And my father-in-law actually wrote out a check and bought them for me. And by the way, we're going to get to attraction marketing, guys. Believe me, we're going to get there. But you need to know the backstory because um, this is real important. So I got some good results on the products because I took them faithfully because, you know, my father-in-law bought them. And so I felt like I needed to. You know, I felt an obligation. And then my husband's cousin, David, invited us to a meeting. A lot of you guys have heard this part of the story, if you've ever met me before. And that's when I discovered home businesses, network marketing, the potential to have a home business at all. So I signed up and it cost $72 and 95 cents. Um, and I signed up, I wrote a check that I didn't have money in the bank to cover. And Monday morning I ran down and, and covered the check. And I kind of had no choice at that point. We were drowning. So it was either get a job or make this work. And I had been doing stuff. A lot of stuff, little little things, you know, for a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. I was consigning all my old suits from work and all kinds of stuff. It was no fun. So, um, so I, I go to the meeting, I come home, and I do everything that I should to, as a new network marketer. How many of you guys are in or have been in network marketing? Chris, have you been in network marketing or are in now? Yes. Yep. Yes. And, you know, you've been in or ha are in. It doesn't matter whether you are or you aren't. I just want to know if you're familiar yeah. with starting yeah. up. MLM. Yeah. So I made my list like I was supposed to, because this is what we're all told, make a list of a hundred. Um, and I did in, in, in the, the career book that they gave us. Um, I had a house party. During that party, I made $400, which was kind of exciting to me. I went on to make $1,700. Okay. I, I kept flipping the product orders and the profit and I, I kind of leveled myself up in the company so that I could become what's called a supervisor. And um, for about a month or two, I made a couple thousand bucks. And then basically what happened was Christmas came because this was October. Nobody wanted to be on a diet anymore, right? All these people that love me, that bought something from me, because all that stuff that they tell you works. If you actually sincerely ask people and show them something that's good, they'll generally buy from you. But Christmas came and January came and nobody wanted to be on a diet anymore. Everybody was eating turkey and bonbons, et cetera. And so 2000 came and um, things had dried up. And this is now when I started turning to calling leads, even though I didn't really have money to buy them. This is when I turned to going to the mall and prospecting um, and asking people if I could show you a way, blankety blank, or in our case, we walked around with buttons on. And I would go out and freak out and because I was very shy, which many people don't believe, but I was. And the idea of me talking to a couple people in the mall, strangers, was really hard. So there I am. And, and the reason why I bring you through this whole story you guys with me? Can you see me being pretty frustrated and pretty 
uh, you know, anxious and kind of not sure how I was going to make it work, but I knew I had to figure something out because if I didn't, I was going to have to get that job. And if I got the job, what it was going to cost to put the two kids in daycare and put a suit on and commute would pretty much wipe out my salary. So it was kind of a catch 22 because if I got the job, I really wasn't going to make any money. But if I didn't figure this out, you know, and so on. So you guys with me been, been in there or seen stuff like this or, lived it or resemble it or any else resemble it. Um, Are you telling your story or mine? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I turned to the internet now and you know what, how long have you been on the internet? Long time, right? Yeah. About four or five years. Yeah. Are you serious? That's all you're kidding. Yeah. Me. I, I figured I had an old timer on my hands between the two of you. Chris, when did you get your first computer? Do you remember? Ooh, 80. Oh, yeah, we got a total nerd here. 84 or 5. Oh, did you have a TRS-80 or a... That was the first pro that was the first programming I did was on a TRS-80. TRS-80, I did basic, man. I was a pro. Yeah. I could make a picture of a box. I yeah. was really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, this is 2000. So it, the internet was really rudimentary compared to what it was today. And in fact, I'm going to show you just how rudimentary tonight Um has anybody, and tell me in the chat, has anybody turned to the internet late at night praying for an answer? Yeah, you know, I mean, you guys, have you stayed up? I know Chris stays up late. I know, you know, I know you, I've seen you at Freaky Hours too, the two of you guys. Um, for me, this was put the babies down, tuck Larry in, let you guys know my husband, and go sit on the computer. And that was when it went, <laughs> as you were, as you were dialing up. Right. There was no high speed. There was prodigy. You've got mail, you know, AOL or prodigy, you know, 56 um, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but it was, it was awesome. You have to wait like two years for a, um, you know, for an image to load. Like if there was an image on the page, it was right. right. That was probably more like 96 by 2000. We started to see some images. So there I am late at night and I came across an ad um that promised me and again I, I know for some of you you've heard this story but you haven't seen what i'm going to show you tonight um it promised me that i could get people to come to me now i have searched and searched and searched and tried to find the original ad i can't find it so i don't know exactly what it said but i know it was something to the extent of i could get people to come to me and i instantly thought to myself that's it. I'm really good with customers. I'm really good with customer service. And if people actually called me, I'd be fine. But this whole business of going out and talking to people and feeling like I was bothering them, you guys know what I mean? I hate that feeling. Or calling up strangers and feeling like I was interrupting them and bothering them. It scared me, truthfully. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was afraid of it. I did it because I had to, but it really, I used to procrastinate on it. I mean, we used to have bicker fights in the house about who was going to do this. Um, you know, I, I go out to the mall to prospect. I'd, I'd leave the kids home and, and uh, you know, Larry and go out to prospect and I'd be in the bathroom like hyperventilating and I'd swear I wasn't coming home till I had three names and I'd come home and then I'd call up the three phone numbers and find out that they all gave me fake numbers. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You so, see the, uh, my baby as a, talking start to talk oh yes 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 <laughs> right. guys and babies it works every time dogs and babies but it's not as easy with chicks because you know if you're if you're a mom walking around with a baby that's like throwing up it's not right. that if you're a guy with a baby it's kind of cute so. Yes, yeah so middle of the night i find this ad and i click on the ad and it takes me to a website and that my friends is when the magical mystery journey began. So I'm going to show you something now, but before we do it, I want you guys to write in the chat. And by the way, the Q and A is on. So if you want to write anything to me that I see personally, uh, these guys cannot see it. You can say nasty things about them if you want, or you can say they're really good looking if you want, or, um, you know, whatever, whatever you want to say about them, feel free because they won't be able to see. Um, I will be able to see. Uh, it's only because I brought them over late. Um, tell me guys, you've heard of attraction marketing. Tell me what is attraction marketing uh, in the chat and give me some of the myths uh, and you guys can start with me. Give me the myths, the realities, or maybe what was sold to you about what attraction marketing is and, and 
uh, you know, what has come up. A lot of people, attraction marketing came onto the scene very visibly about 2006, 2007. So it's been a lot of years. And by now, a lot of people will go poo-poo it. They're like, oh, that doesn't work. It was like the hot, shiny object back in the day. Well, guys, it isn't the hot, shiny object. It is, as far as I'm concerned, the answer. It is what changed my life. I'm going to show you how dramatically. And the problem is that most people don't understand what it is. So I want to give a little survey. Notice nobody's writing now, and either it's delayed or nobody wants to take a stab at, at these things. Tell me, guys, tell me the myths that it works every time. Yes, uh, that's, a, that's probably a myth. Uh, what else? Give me, guys, give me the myths of attraction marketing. What about you guys when you first heard about all of this? I know, Anil, you thought it was like pixie dust or something, didn't I was you? Like, I was like, it's some voodoo stuff and I'm going to sit in a corner and chant all these things that I want and everything's just going to magically appear and I won't have to do any work. Well, I think that's because this came out around the same time as The Secret and everybody was like lumping them all together. Right, exactly. You know, for things and I'm going to attract people and, and they're going to magically come to me. Yeah. You know, promote <laughs> yourself, make yourself. Okay, absolutely. Um, use marketing te techniques to attract people instead of you going after them. Right? Magnetically drawing leads to you and we saw all the pictures with the magnet. Attraction marketing is putting value into the marketplace so that people come to you. I always never understood that term. What is value in the marketplace? I always thought it was a weird term. Um, people who are seeing what I offer, okay. I'm sorry, they're going by fast. Um, you don't need to spend money to make money with it. No, no, I, I think a lot of people teach that you need to spend quite a bit of money. Um, it takes no effort at all. Um, yep, value pumped out, major results, value, 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 right? That's the big Keywords, you have to provide value. Um, strategy where you're able to attract the most qualified prospects. Um, great. And how have they told you? How have people told you and taught you to do attraction marketing? What do you guys think the most important content, I mean, the, the most important component of attraction marketing is? What What's the most important part? Let's see. Putting something out there that hits people between the eyes, offer a solution. It runs on mm -hmm. autopilot. Sound positive and act like a leader. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brand yourself, yeah. position yeah. yourself as a leader. Uh, somebody, I just saw it fly by. Somebody said that if you put out the right content, the right people will come. So people will magically show up the right exact prospects that you want. Um, people taking pictures of themselves on vacations and living life to attract people. Um, exactly all that that stuff. Funded proposals. Yep, we'll talk about that. Um, easy button, being yourself, telling your story, blogs, ads, uh, building relationships, help uh, one another achieve what they need, show yourself having fun, people will call you, uh, telling stories. I see, I, see, I see two or three people that are right on the right path, and I see a lot of other stuff. So, but we're talking about myths, so that's good. So brand and position yourself. Let me ask you guys a question. Has anybody gotten fancy pictures and magically started money started falling from the heavens? Anybody went and got a fancy header, hired a photographer or whatever, and money started? Now, granted, people will take you more seriously if you look good. But has anybody magically gotten rich from a photo shoot? Probably not, right? Has anybody magically gotten rich by going down to the car dealership and getting their picture taken in front of the right car? Anybody here gotten magically rich that way? I, I even... I even changed my theme on my blog. It didn't work. Picking <laughs> <laughs> the right theme that's going to make him rich, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> anybody magically gotten rich because of your capture page and the conversion on it? Has anybody made seven, eight figures because of the right capture page? No, 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 no. Has anybody magically gotten rich because of the right solo ad? Anil, I know you did, right? <laughs> the right uh, solo ad. Sore subject. <laughs> <laughs> the right solo ad or the right Facebook. We didn't have Facebook back then. The right ad. Has anybody magically gotten rich from it? <laughs> Jeremy can make it. Jeremy's here. Jeremy can, Jeremy does all kinds of graphics. He can make me like, Jeremy, make me look hot. I mean, take one of my pictures and make me look hot. Will you just shave something off of me and give me extensions and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, a lot of the things that we're told are not the answer. Okay. Now, are they components to the answer? Pieces, puzzle pieces? Yes. Okay.
okay? But I'm gonna take you back in time and show you that most of the things that, that folks think are what attraction marketing is, didn't exist when we were doing attraction marketing when it started. So if those things didn't exist, how could they be the answer? And what we're on tonight is a quest to figure out what is the answer as a team, which is why I brought over the two smartest guys I know, two smarty pants. I was like, ooh, Anil's here, good, right? I mentioned before, I hope I, oh no, I said it to um, Amber. I said, I wonder if Anil's gonna be around, he might be with the kids. I need, I need smart dudes. So we're gonna go on a quest. Anybody into it? You guys wanna go on a quest? Absolutely, sure. Right. Big, and by the way, this is seltzer, not beer. I just want yeah. you all to know. Seltzer. Although sometimes I have a wine on a webinar, but no, no wine tonight because I figured that's all we need is Hawkman on two glasses of wine and she'll start crying over this stuff. Okay. So that's you guys good. understand. That's I'm good. broke. I'm desperate. I got little kids. Okay. So I'm trying to manage my life around them. Anybody who has or has had little kids knows how chaotic it is. Okay. Your kids are still pretty young and you know, you know, it's like, they're all over the place. You know, they don't understand what work is and they don't care. They're just like all over. Um, and I have a low self image. Okay. I'm not feeling so great about myself. You know, I have all this stuff going on, all these stories running around my head about why I can't and what's wrong with me. I know everybody thinks they're the only ones that have that. Okay. And I'm on the internet in the middle of the night. And I dare say it was after midnight. I won't forget it. So, okay, you two geeky guys, and I say that with deep affection. Are you familiar with... Oh, my, my screen share isn't on, is it? No. Which is probably good. Which is probably good. Let me put on the screen share. Let's put on the screen share. Okay. Can you guys see the screen now? Yes. Yep. Are you guys familiar with this site at all? The yep. Wayback Machine? Yep. 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 Guys, what this site does is it allows you to go back in time. They have archived, look at that, 456 billion web, web pages saved over time. So you can put in a domain and you can go back and you can find out how it looked at a certain time in the past. Now, I'm not sure how far it goes back. I know that I'm taking you back to the year 2000 tonight. So guys, this is 15 years ago I'm taking you back. So I just thought you guys might think this is kind of cool because you can go spy on lots of people and look at what their web pages used to look like. By the way, <laughs> you can find a lot of things out about people using the Wayback Machine. You can find out all the things they've been promoting and all the different things they've been doing. Some of you guys are like, I'm going to kill her for showing this to people. Um, but there's a lot of things you can find out. And I, while I may not be terribly technical, I'm a very good researcher, gang. I can find out most anything about anyone. And this is one of the ways that you can. So I'm going to take you back. Would you guys like to see the original site that I hit on that introduced me to attraction marketing? Interest you at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All right, let's go over here. <clears throat> the name of the site, which doesn't exist anymore today, was MLM Big Fish. Okay? And the ad told me that I could get people to come to me. Now I want you to look at the site. What do you notice does not exist on the front page? Capture page. Yeah. Now there is a place to jump on newsletters, but there is no, what, what, what are we missing? A capture page and what? What's that thing that everybody tells you you need, you have to have? Oh, oh um. I, I can't see the chat, so I want to see what they say. What do you guys, and you can say it too, but I want to see what, what is missing? I'll go back to that page in a second. What like is a, missing? Like a freebie or something to get them to offer. Yes. Yeah. So a, 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 a um, whatchamacallit, uh, lead bait or whatever. Everybody has different names, a giveaway, of, of, you know, et cetera. So it didn't exist then in the same way that it exists today. Okay. The fact that it even had a picture on it was very, very fancy, but here's basically what happened. 
I'm miserable. It's the middle of the night. I'm in my pajamas. I'm, I'm in the dim light. I probably didn't even have the light on, just the light from my computer. And I see this. And so the first thing that interests me, guys, which one would you click on first? Uh, probably the four dumb mistakes. Four dumb mistakes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Can't not click on that first. Okay. So I click on this. And again, this is a little small and, you know, this is the extent of graphics. This is the fancy graphics back then. Um, and by the way, this website would have cost thousands of dollars to be put up. Thousands of dollars. This crappy little website. So four dumb mistakes all networkers make at least once while trying to recruit through the mail. Now, he was still using his old copy because he did it all via the mail and postcards and mailings before he got onto the Internet. Guys, you are looking at probably not the very first version, but it's the first one I can find. The second affiliate program that ever existed in this space whatsoever. Okay, so I want you to understand the history. Actually, there's a dual, there's two guys that put them up around the same time. So I don't know who exactly put theirs up first. But this is one of the very first affiliate programs and generic um, content and product sites, generic training sites that ever existed in this industry. Today, it's a dime a dozen, right? Everybody and their uncle has an, I mean, look at JVZoo, look at all these sites. There's affiliate product sites everywhere. And in fact, lots of people have their own products nowadays. Back then, it was unheard of. Revolutionary to have this site. Four dumb mistakes all networkers make at least once while trying to recruit through the mail. I should know I made them all before I learned how to enroll over 300 plus networkers using letters just like this one. Okay. Now this still was a letter, but it didn't seem to bother me that it read that way because this was so new on the internet. It probably took 20 minutes for me to load the copy. I was so happy to read the damn copy. It didn't matter. Okay. So we're not going to read the whole letter. But what I want you to see here, here's where we say that he did a 69 page book back in 95, right? And he goes on and he talks about ebooks because ebooks were all the rage back then. That's what everybody had an ebook and you download an ebook. It was a PDF, right? And he goes through his whole story and he's kind of telling you about his products and so on. Look at this. My number is and it's a phone number. He tells you failed horribly in MLM for years and years, and then he cracked the code back in 95, and he goes through, and he shows you how he made, he has testimonials, yada, 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 yada. Now he gets into the mistakes that networkers are making. And I hate to break it to you, but the mistakes are still the same 15 years later. 15 years later. No continuity. I'm not here to describe this. No automated upgrades. Losing money trying to recruit people. I'm not going to go through this. This is not what the training's about. The training's about something else. You'll see. But how many of you guys have lost money trying to recruit people? Me, everybody, right? How many of you have lost money trying to recruit people? How many people? have been running around trying to compete, uh, trying to recruit other networkers. My program's better than your program. I know you're in XYZ, but I'm in LMNOP. You should leave XYZ and come to LMNOP. Don't we do it all day long on Facebook? It's what we see all over the place. Okay. How many people can you tell, and, and you two answer this. <clears throat> How many messages a day do you get on Facebook that you know for a fact that the person who's saying hello to you, their intent is to try to recruit you? At least two or three. Yeah. yeah, prospect you and recruit you, right? You can smell them from a mile away. So I started reading this, and I was kind of like, wow, this is kind of interesting. And then what he said was, I have a 10-page report, and all you have to do is get to a fax machine and put in this number in this document, and I'm going to whip that report off to you. Now, I didn't have a fax machine. Nobody had a fax machine. So I went the next day down to like one of these little office places. 
And when we didn't have staples and stuff then, you know, not local. It was like a little office place. I called around to find out who had a fax machine. And what I did that night was that, that, that next week was I got this report and he had a little report that you could download. I printed everything out and I read it over and over and over because he said you could use his cash flow system to do 100 to 500 presentations a day. The system sorts, selects, speaks, sells, and sponsors for you. And I went berserk, crazy excited because I thought if something could speak and do all this stuff for me and all I had to do was speak to the people that popped out, I got very excited. So anyway, here's what happened. I did not have any money. Anybody resemble that remark or gone through that stage? I did not have any money. His course was $197. And I couldn't buy the course because I didn't have the money. So I started saving quarters, I'm not kidding, to buy this course. And he had a $12.95 course, but I didn't want to buy that because I knew, I was so broke, I knew that if you bought the $200 course, the $197 course, he'd give you the $12 one for free. And I needed that for free. So I started saving my quarters. But what would happen, guys? is that I would constantly come to this site. Oh, that doesn't come up. This is really old. I'd come to this site over and over and over. And there it is, the magical opt-in. Pretty fancy, huh, guys? Wow. <laughs> and back then, the only autoresponder that existed would only send out four letters. It was 100 bucks a month, and you could only send out four letters max. Now, the good news is this is before the spam laws and you could throw in leads if you wanted and do all kinds of naughty stuff, but you couldn't send out more than four letters. So what this particular person did, and by the way, this is my secret mentor that you always hear me talking about. He's left the industry, guys. Please do not try to track him down. You probably could find his phone number. He won't take your call. He has left the industry. Please, the, my, the purpose of my sharing the story with you tonight is not to get you to magically go start looking for the secret person who is the answer. He's not the answer. You're the answer. That's what he taught me. I got on this list. I started getting his emails. And what I, what he did was he wove you through this tangled web. Sorry, I keep hitting these weird buttons. Tangled web of phone numbers where you'd call up a phone number and you'd hear him tell stories for the first phone number was an 800 number and for three minutes he talked to you and he'd get you to call the long distance phone number because nobody had cell phones then long distance was expensive and he'd get you to call a, a, a toll number for a 30 minute teleseminar and guys I used to call and listen to this thing two times a week three times a week as often as I could over and over and over I would listen and I would get his letters, I could only get a few, and I would get his letters until I saved up $197 plus the shipping. Now, once I saved up the $197 plus the shipping, like an idiot, I went down and got a money order and sent it to a blind person who I didn't know from a hole in the ground that I found on the internet, and I sent him a money order for $217. And I sat home and looked at my mailbox every single day. And I hoped that he would send me something back. Seemed okay, but who knew? Because back then you were going to get ripped off on the internet. So <clears throat> here's what ended up happening, guys. There was a time where my hard drive on the computer was going to die. He ended up getting a new autoresponder. Time went on. Um, and I took that course... And I um, assimilated it. I went through it over and over and over. I probably could recite it by heart. And I set up a marketing system for my business based upon the principles and concepts he taught me. Now, what he did was he taught me about using info products. And back then, I didn't understand what an info product was. And I didn't know how to make an info product. So I just used the products for my own company. 
But what I did was I followed the concepts of attraction marketing, worked out a system for my stuff, and before you knew it, my phone was ringing off the hook with people wanting to buy my diet pills and shakes. I went from being somebody who struggled to make my quota to somebody who was winning trips to Paris. I went from somebody who was struggling and begging my aunt, aunt Kathy to buy another bottle so I could, you know, because back then you had to do so much business month or you didn't earn your full commissions and stuff. It's still like that over there um, to, to going on cruises on the company. I was heralded. They put me on stage at all the meetings. Um, they were kind of mad at me because they didn't know what I was doing. But what I was doing was attraction marketing. And I'll never forget, my hard drive was dying. And I didn't know what I was doing with my computer. This folder is full of all the, yeah, these are from 2001, of all the original letters from this particular trainer that I plugged into, that I learned from. And I was so concerned about losing these letters and not having these letters that I went and sat and printed every single one of them praying that my hard drive wouldn't crash before I got them because I didn't have to back up my computer and all this other stuff. These are some of my most prized possessions along with the original cassette tapes that I purchased back then. So why am I telling you this? And what does it have to do with you today? What does it have to do with your business? What does it have to do with how you become the hunted, not the hunter? What does it have to do with having prospects beating down your door and begging to sign up with you? What does it uh, have to do with building downlines on demand? And all the stuff that you read. By the way, uh, by 2004, young Mr. Mike Dillard had written Magnetic. Uh, 2004, 2005, he was using it for his downline. Then he took it generic. Magnetic sponsoring was born in 2006. Um, in 2007 or 8, My Lead System Pro was born. That's where we are to, where we are today. And they took this whole concept and systematized it and gave us tools like we've never had available before in the history of the industry. So here's the question. If magnetic sponsor, I mean, excuse me, if attraction marketing was done back then on this rudimentary little site, you know, and I didn't even sit and show you, there's a photo gallery. The photo gallery has six pictures. <laughs> six pictures was the big photo gallery. And it's really funny because today all we do is post pictures. I mean, Instagram and Pinterest and on Facebook. I mean, today everything's video and we're doing it right on our phones. Everything is right at our fingertips. So if we have website builders and we have autoresponders that are inexpensive that can d deliver thousands and thousands and thousands of letters out to people. If we have trackers and CRMs and we have smartphones and we have Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and everything that we have, if I could, that website that I just showed you cost thousands of dollars. My original website was the ugliest thing in the world. I don't have it anymore. I have a screenshot somewhere. I finally took it down. Um, it was the most hideous thing in the world. How did I do hundreds of thousands of dollars in business with crappy tools? And yet tons of people sit and poo-poo with incredible tools that they have today that cost next to nothing and say that attraction marketing doesn't work. What's the missing link? What is the link? And why did I become so glued to this dude? Why are you glued to the people you listen to? Whose emails do you open every day and why do you open them? How many, how many emails do you guys receive a day? Ballpark. 50, Including spam. Ballpark. 50, 60. Including yeah, spam? I mean, really? Wow, you're you're a giveaway. I mean, I I probably receive I'm a thousand. Like a What'd you say, Chris? How many? I said I'm over over a hundred probably. Really? That's it? We gotta crank yeah. you guys up. I, I I receive at least a thousand. Now let me ask you a question. Out of the hundred or fifty or sixty, how many of the emails do you open? Like who's? I don't name names, but are there certain people that you always open their email? Two people. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So there's a reason why. Why do you answer the emails? I mean, why do you read the emails that you read? Why do you keep swipe file of certain people's emails? Why did I print these? 
why do I have swipe files of all different people? 2,500, Dave. Wow, you're, you're impressive. Why do we listen to certain people and other people are noise? What was it about that system <clears throat> that caught me in it, that made me sit and, and, and literally save quarters to be a part of it? What was it about all the different personalities that you follow? What is it? There is a common denominator. Why are we echoing so good? Somebody just changed something? Somebody just changed something? No? Okay. Thanks, Neil, for a second. Um, there is something, and what I want you to do is write it in the in the Q and A. Okay. We need to, as a group, figure out if we know attraction marketing isn't necessarily, and by the way, all these things are the components of it, because we can put together our systems with it. But if we know that there was no capture page back then, by the way, this guy sold millions and millions, he built two multi-million dollar downlines, all via these systems, sold millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of info products. He was the king of the 90s. Okay, like we would see certain people today, and we think of them as the kings. This was the king of the 90s and the early 2000s. If it wasn't the capture page, and Linda, no kidding. <laughs> if it wasn't the capture page, if it isn't the thank you page, if there was no, because there's no thank you page. I, I can't opt in here anymore because it's gone, but if I could opt in, you see there was no thank you page. It the ad obviously brought me to the page. So the ad was important because we had to get there and, and so on and so forth. If it wasn't video, because video doesn't exist, if it wasn't the blog, because blogs didn't exist, what is, and I see some of you guys are starting to get it. There's something, yeah, Jen says, understood my pain, had a similar, and the key word she said is, that is sorry. Attraction marketing is about getting a message in front of people that will trigger them to come towards you based upon what they want. It will trigger them. Why did you come tonight? This is a very high attendance for us for a Tuesday night. Something triggered you and made you come. So that's psychology. And then something's kept you here for 45 minutes. And if we had done this outside of this platform, we might have an autoresponder that was connected to the registration. We didn't. But if you had an autoresponder that was connected to the registration, why do you open some emails and why don't you open others? Why do you stay subscribed to certain people and why do you delete or unsubscribe from others? Why do you attend webinars with certain people and why don't you attend with others? Why? And the answer is simply, it's stories. I stuck with this guy for years. He ended up eventually becoming my mentor. The end, end of the story was I met him in 2005. We hit it off. I worked with him for six years. And he taught me all the secrets of storytelling verbally and in copy and in every other way possible. Now, right around 2005, social media was being born. So he was giving me a skill set while new mediums and platforms were happening. And so all of a sudden, instead of having to go through all the rigmarole that we would have had to in the past, we would have had to buy a mailing list, we would have had to create a postcard, we would have had to create a, a, a self-mailer for them to mail back to request information, we would have had to mail them out a packet with a, a sales letter, we would have had to have them fill out a sales form and mail it to us into our P.O. box so that we could take their money and mail back to them. Right? We would have had to do that. Brian doesn't realize I'm on the webinar right now. So we would have had to do all of this in order to get a simple sale. And that sales cycle would have taken forever. A sales cycle. Guys, if you had to run a full page ad, do you know how far in advance you'd have to put in your order to run that ad to the spot? Months. 
You'd have to lock up that ad in that publication months ahead. How long do you have to plan uh, for a Facebook ad? 15 you know, no. moments. Right? I could go, I think I'll run an ad right now and I can go run a Facebook ad. So if everybody here, if you're an LSP member, you have the tools. If you're not, by the way, guys, get back to the person that invited you. I'm not really going to talk a lot about My Lead System Pro tonight. All I will tell you is that it gives us everything we need. We have the capture page system. We have the autoresponder. We have the follow-up system. We have the training. We have the, you know, on, on every type of method that you possibly want. We have copywriting training. We have all of this. So it comes down to, can you attract a person? And then can you keep a person with you until the moment they're ready to buy? And the thing that most people are doing is they're trying to get somebody to buy now. And so a lot of people that believe they're doing attraction marketing, even though they have a capture page and even though they have an autoresponder and all the, the components that we think, how many of you guys have ever opted into something and they hit you right away trying to get you immediately? And that's the main thrust, right? It's, it's common. Where a good attraction marketer will always invite you to buy. It's rare that you see me not inviting to buy. I'm, I'm always pointing at something to buy. But they won't push it. Because what they'll do is they'll keep pulling the person through story after story after story after story after story, including success stories, including testimonials, et cetera, until the person makes the decision to buy of their own volition and or call you of their own volition. And what happens, and it's the same as what happened with me, is when I met this guy, I had read so much of his stuff and was so connected and had listened to his voice so much. I thought the angels were singing when I met him. And that's what happens. I don't know if Chris Garcia is on tonight. He probably is. He said that he has people now reaching out to him and asking him for help. People asking to buy. And that's what attraction marketing is. It's when, and we're going to draw some pictures now because we have 10, 15 minutes left. I just want to see if anybody asks a question or anything. Hang on a minute. Um, um, Do you remember the first time, Diane, when uh, somebody asked me for my link? I remember. That's <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll mute for a second. Mute for a second. So, you know, uh, all these years I was buying solo ads and I had this huge list of 10,000 people and I was so proud. I was like, Diane, I have 10,000 people on my list. And she's like, yeah, how many of them know you? And I was like, uh, okay. And then I started using what Diane was teaching. And, you know, first I got leads for free. And then somebody actually reached out to me and said, send me a link. I want to join. And I, and I reached out to Diane. I was like, what do I do? They asked me for my link. She's like, send them your link. What do you think you should do? <laughs> but it never happened to me before. So I was like, like deer in headlights. And I remember right after that, you like recruited 17 people, like in a couple of days and it was like, boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden it happened. It was just that moment of, of, um, of understanding. Now it's interesting. I was just looking in the Q and a and people were writing to me in there. And, um, somebody said that I've taken too long to make my point, or maybe we're talking about somebody else. You know, I don't know the way it would read, but guys, what I want you to understand is your prospect if you're doing a good job, I can think of one major marketer in this industry. His webinars are always three hours or more. I've seen him do webinars, and you know who I'm talking about. I've seen him keep over a 1,000 people for over five hours. And here's what's interesting. People that are meant to learn from you, people that are vibing with you, people that are understanding with you, people whose minds and hearts are open, they're not going to leave if you're really doing this correctly. And, and, and there's a skill to it. I was taught the skill. Those that are impatient, that are looking for the magic bullet, that are looking for the secret, that are looking for the pixie dust, that are looking for the unicorn poop that the unicorn left before, they're just kind of like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Now, those folks, can you sell them? Of course you can. They're great to sell to. But here's what I want you guys to understand. How many of you are looking to have a business 
that um, one, how many of you guys are looking to do a download? Wait for the chat for a minute. How many of you guys want to build a team or how, are in the middle of building a team? How many of you want to build a team? Because here's what's been lost over the years. Internet marketing or direct sales, direct response, okay? There's a model of marketing that's designed to make a sale, okay? We get you, we get you in front of an offer, we show you the offer, you sell, you buy it, okay? It's just like, um, I don't know, I'm just thinking out, out in the regular world. Um, you go to the mall, they put something in front of you, you buy it. Okay, it's designed to get you to buy today. Actually, here's one. You know those little kiosks that they put in the mall? Chris, do they have them up by you? There's, they're yeah. selling like hair things or skin cream or whatever. Those guys are there. They rented a kiosk. Their job is to stop as many people that are walking by. They stand in the middle of traffic in the, in the, uh, in the mall, and they're trying to get you. They want to demo the product for you, and they want to get you to buy it. They have no real investment in you being a repeat customer coming back next week. They may not even be there next week. Their job is to rent the booth, get customers, turn a profit, that's it. If it's profitable, they stick around. If it's not, they don't. They pretty much don't sell a big product line, so you're not going to be a repeat customer. Does that make sense to you guys? Does it make sense? Yep. That kind of yep. So uh, there's a lot of business models on the Internet that are designed to get the person in front of the offer, show them a thing, get the sale. That's awesome. It's, it's cash flow. It's money. That's awesome. But with attraction marketing, attraction marketing was designed for people that want to build downlines and long-term customer bases, not just make the sale. The sale of the information product up front or whatever we're selling up front, your, your diet pills. I mean, I grew up in an MLM. You sold a $32 bottle of diet pills to get someone excited so you could have a conversation with them. The end game was you wanted to recruit them. But you made the $32 sale to keep the $16 to put in your pocket to fund your business and keep it alive. And that's called the funded proposal, and we'll talk about that another time. But when you don't build your business based upon stories and retention-minded, long-term-minded, what happens is you have incredible, incredible, incredible amounts of turnover. Okay? So you may make some money but it's constantly, I have to get another audience. I have to get another audience. Again, not bad, just a different model. So attraction marketing and the funded proposal, which is selling something retail up front, were specifically designed to attract people based upon what they want, then to put them into, today we call it a funnel, but to put them into an environment that continually tells them stories and keeps them with you long enough until they convince themselves that they want to be on your team or they want to buy something long-term or they want to buy continually. So that, my friends, is the magic difference. So here's the problem as I see it out in the marketplace. And then I'm going to take Q&A and talk to you guys for a little while if anybody wants to hang out and talk, but I want to wrap up the, the basic fundamentals. 99% of the people out there have never been trained in this arena and don't even know to seek training in this arena because what they're doing is seeking training on the mechanics of building the funnel, but the funnel is hollow because the content, the copy, the stories, the webinars, the talking, the videos are weak or non-existent. So the work is futile because you can't possibly create what you want without understanding how to package a story, how to tell a story, how to build a story, how to build testimonials. Look at all your network marketing pros. That's all they do, tell stories. Never really say much of anything. They just tell stories. Look at all the best internet marketers. Who knows the man named Frank Kern? I know you do, Chris, right? Frank Kern, I know you love him. Frank Kern makes those videos. And what does he do? He draws pictures and tells stories about his students and how they got their results. And while he's telling the story, you imagine that you're the student, the next one, and you imagine how that thing that he's talking about could happen to you. The next thing you know, the credit card is out because he told you stories. Guys, this is the magic that you're looking for. 
And the reason why we did this training tonight, this is part one. I wanted to take you back. I wanted to see how I, I wanted you to see how I discovered it. So the end game of the story was in 2005, I ended up meeting the guy who taught me all of this. We ended up on the phone. It was a fluke accident meeting uh, via some messaging on the internet. He happened to call me up. We started talking. He found out what I had built with his ideas and concepts and was blown away that I had built this whole machine to sell all the diet pills and, and all that stuff and recruit people. And I had built this big downline and I'm, I was selling $20,000, $30,000 worth of diet products a month alone. Not my team, me guys. And it was like a machine. It was an amazing machine. Um, and he was so stunned that a little housewife had built this. We got to talking. And he kind of just took me in under his wing and he started teaching me all of these fundamentals. And before you knew it, by the time 2007 rolled around, I had become a force in the new social media movement. I had become a force in video marketing. I had become a force in um, social media marketing for, you know, social networking as we know it today. And I had become a great copywriter and, you know, I felt, I felt, I feel like I hate when I talk about this because I feel like I'm like saying I'm so great. That's not my point guys. I, I, I put a lot of work in and I put time in, but what had happened was I had learned to tell stories so well and I had learned to put together the little funnel so well that I largely didn't have to do much of the busy work anymore. It was all eliminated because of this one particular skill set. So when you're learning attraction marketing, yes, you have to learn, you have to learn what is attraction marketing. Then you have, because I didn't cover a bunch of stuff tonight that I'm not going to cover out here in public for free. Um, you have to learn how to create the mechanism, how to attract them. You have to learn once they come inside of your system, how to keep them with you. You have to learn how to make a sales offer. You have to learn the communication. You have to learn how to write the copy. But most of all, you have to learn to do something called create a narrative a narrative, which is who you are, what you stand for, where you're going. People are attracted to people that have narratives. That's why we watch movies. We love the narrative of the movie. Again, very little training out there in this arena. And two years ago, I put together a course called Attraction Marketing Intensive. And um, I know there, there's a bunch of here tonight. If you took the course, guys, give me a shout out in the, um, in the chat. But um, it hasn't been available to anybody to buy except for a select few people that saw it as a one-time offer hasn't been available for two years and we uh, are about to bring it back out and make it available again and i'm really excited about it because this course changed a lot of lives we did uh over a quarter million dollars in business with it and um i want to bring it out so what we're going to do is for the next week or so i'm going to be doing a series of some different webinars and really going in depth into attraction marketing we are going to make that course available for those that want it um it's actually in if you're in mlsp it's actually in your back office now it's called attraction marketing intensive i can give you guys the link but let me tell you this we're really not looking to promote it tonight or make a big deal i wanted to give you guys this groundwork and the story because I'm going to be offering next week some really special bonuses. Obviously, if you decide you want it because you want to dig into it over the weekend, um, you know, help yourself, you'll get the bonuses. But during the month of April, I do a whole series of new live sessions with the students. We're inviting back all the previous students to come back for free. So if you took the course, um, you're invited back. If you were one of the lucky people that got it through the one-time offer and you've never gotten to do the live sessions, you are invited. And of course, if anybody wants to pick it up now, you're going to be invited to a whole month of dissecting this. Remember dissecting things in science class. Do you do that in middle school or high school? I think it's high school, right, Chris? Not middle school? Yeah, high school mostly. I think I do frogs in middle school though. It's like, yeah. <laughs> they do it digitally now, so. Digitally? Oh, there's yeah. digital frogs. Go, no, no frogs were harmed for there's an app for that. Sure. <laughs> dissect your frog digitally. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna dissect it and we're gonna work with everybody to create their systems. Now what's really cool is MLSP already has, right? Already has. By, by the way, guys, if you want to look at MLSP, if you're not a member and you want to get a trial, it's just MLSP.com. I'll put it in the chat. Um, 
and I'll give you the link to the course in case anybody wants to look at it, just peek at the sales page. But MLSP.com, you can read all about us. We've been here for seven years now. Um, I've been a part of the company for over three years. I specifically and strategically chose to be a part of my lead system pro one because attraction marketing is my passion and that's what we do here. And two, because it's, it's an incredibly stable company. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars with this company. Um, and it's pretty neat because it helps you learn how to market whatever it is you want to market your MLM, your affiliate products, whatever the case may be. But I think the thing that people need help with most um, we have the training on how to run the ads, you know, and, and it's, and it's readily available. Everybody can learn how to run a Facebook ad. Everybody can learn to run a solo ad. Everybody can learn to run, you know, pay per click or whatever. We have the training on how to build a capture page. We can do it in five minutes now. Even Hockman ding dong over here can build a great looking page in minutes. We have the information on how to create the thank you page in the video and that type of stuff. We have all set up, you know, we give you swipe copy autoresponder letters that you can work with until you learn to write your own. But if we put that together as it is, we're generally pretty generic. We're pretty much the same as everybody else. We have the same kind of vibe. So what attraction marketing intensive really does is it makes you thoroughly understand attraction marketing, breaks down all the components for those of you that are newer. And then we turn around and we do a narrative workshop with you in story packaging. So you get to a point where you're never going to be struggling for what to say or what to write ever again. I could take any of you, pull you over, package your story and create a narrative for you in about three seconds. I've done it with both of these guys. It's late, so we're not going to do it tonight. I could do it with any of you. And maybe next week we'll do a little bit of that and I'll demo and I'll show you. I could take a stinky you think is a stinky story or no story and I can I can make you sound like a million bucks in about three minutes and if you learn to do that then you can do it with your people you can do it with your products you can do it with the results that people are getting and all of a sudden you become insanely attractive and that's what makes people buy from you and that's what makes people stick with you long term because guys I'm all about building residual income long term hardcore residual income that's what was important to me and my family. We dug ourselves out of debt. We paid it all off. I just finished paying my daughter's college tuition cash. She's graduating in May. I buy cars for cash. Everything's cash. Not, it doesn't have to be cash. It's just I don't need to finance it. I mean, I can use a credit card or a bank check or whatever. Apparently now, like if you take out $5,000, the bank reports you because they think you're suspicious. I saw that floating around. You're suspicious if you take I, I'm usually running around, I'm running around. Running around. Going on in my bank. Did you read that, Anil? Yeah, it's it's money laundering. Anytime they think you might be doing money laundering, so they have to report it to the IRS. But I thought it was ten thousand transactions. They have to do that. But now they're they're literally telling the banks to alert the authority, local authorities, if anybody takes out over five thousand dollars. I often have five thousand dollars just sitting around. I don't, I don't. I know that sounds crazy, but I do. I, I often do. I mean, today I don't have a lot of cash, but a lot of times, like Mary will be like, "What are you doing? I have three thousand dollars in my wallet." You know, I, I don't know. I just, I like money. What can I tell you? So this is attraction marketing. Guys, if you've been struggling to recruit, this is a solution. If you've been struggling to keep your people, this is a solution. If you've been struggling to talk to people, this is a solution. Because here's why it's so great for scaredy cats like me, big fat chickens like me. You can create the narratives and stories and put them into formats so that you can drive people in. And then they read and listen. And then only the people that dig you pop out and want to talk to you or buy from you. I don't know who doesn't like me. I don't know who doesn't like my letters. They unsubscribe, they go on their way. I don't know who isn't interested in me. I just know who is. I know who is interested in my product lines. I know who is interested in my products and services. I know who thinks I would be a good match for them. And that, my friends, is as targeted as you can get. Drive them in with something sexy. Keep them in with stories, narratives, ideas. They either click with you or they don't. If they do, they're reaching out to you or they're buying. And if they don't connect with you, they go on their merry way. That is what attraction marketing is. That is the magic of what lets a housewife like me earn as much as a doctor, a lawyer, an Indian chief working a couple hours a day screwing around, having fun, and uh, 
just living the life. And all the stuff that you guys hear, you know, I hate hype. Have you figured that out yet? I hate hype. But what I do like is to know that the stories are true, that all of this is possible, that you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Am I saying that you're going to make it here now? Am I saying the MLSP will make you make it or that my course will make you make it? Absolutely not, but it's possible that you can come and go and travel. Two of our uh, top members here, over four of them are over in Bali right now. I'm going to Bali in the fall. I'm going to Hong Kong in the fall. I'm going to Bali in the fall. Traveling all over the place because I want to for fun. Business takes me there. All of it is true, but you have to have the correct information and the correct mentorship in order to make it happen. And what you have to do is plug into something and commit to it and learn it. Guys, I'm not asking you to do this, but I spent, I spent six years with this man. My nails are bad. Somebody said something about my nails. I broke my nail. <laughs> I spent six years with this man. I know the nails laughing at me. Well, somebody would notice I go, Ooh, her nails. I'm going tomorrow. I haven't gotten there. I've been busy. Six years to learn from a master. Can you give this 90 days? 90 days. Because if you can't give something 90 days to six months, what, you know? Now, I invested six years. Did I make money during that whole time? Yes, I certainly did. I was buying cars, cash, and all this other stuff. My whole life turned upside down because of it. But did, did, you know, I, I made money, but I was the student. I was the student. And then he retired and I became one of the masters. So that's it, guys. If anybody's interested in looking at the course or the sales page or whatever, like I said, I'm not really going to talk about it tonight. We'll talk about that next week, but it's attraction marketing intensive. Um, if anybody is interested in MLSP, let me put these in again. It's MLSP.com. Uh, you can get a great trial. It's 10 bucks to come price out. We'll give you your money back if you don't like it. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to push the link for that too. Uh, we got Mark's coming on. He's going to show you how to dominate and get crazy amounts of leads and then turn around and follow up with our CRM system. Uh, and this is his first time doing the Wednesday night webinar, so you all must come and heckle him. And he's Canadian. I'm just saying. <laughs> Mark doesn't even know me yet, but I'm just gonna be <laughs> Oh gosh. So, uh, <laughs> and he does, and he sounds super Canadian too. He has the cutest voice. He sounds awesome. Uh, so MLSP.com. Let me give you the link for tomorrow night if any of you guys wanna uh, and I'm gonna check the question. You too, do you have any any questions or comments? I can mute any else you can talk if you want to do. No, I'm just, uh, you know, I just want to say again, you know, people think this is all uh, voodoo stuff, but it works, you know, but you, you got to do the work. But you know, what's really cool is once you learn this, it really becomes a systematic approach. It's not like work. <laughs> there you go. Come heckle Mark tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to give them the link for you, Mark, uh, right now. Um, it really is a couple hours a day and then the rest of it's just icing you know if you have more time or you want to do more you want to have some fun i enjoy the people so i tend to be out in the field with people a lot or in my facebook groups with my teams and stuff like that but i don't have to if i want to go away if i go away for i i went for for a cruise in january um i don't remember i don't want to miss quote but i i made at least five figures that week while i was away while i was out of town and uh, that's pretty cool. You know, when you can have a type of life um, where you can do that type of stuff. I'm just trying to get this link out. Wednesday webinar, right? Isn't that the link for tomorrow? MLSP.com forward slash Wednesday dash webinar. Or no, webinar registration. Webinar registration. My, my bad. <clears throat> so if anybody has a question for me, put it in the Q&A. Um, Lorraine, in the course, uh, and I'll cover it a little bit next week, but in the course, I show the packaging of very simple stories. Like, um, hi, my name is Diane Hockman, and before I got this glass of water, I was absolutely thirsty, and I didn't know what I was going to do. The first thing I noticed when I tasted the water was that it was crisp, clean, and refreshing. Since then, I've been able to drink a whole glass of water 
and I'm feeling much better. And the best part is I know I'll be going to the bathroom soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can apply, I teach a formula, I apply all types of methods. Um, you use this not only to share your stories, but you share it with, um, like somebody comes in and tell, like I remember I complained my first week on the products when I first started out, I was like, I only lost five pounds and I was complaining. And he was like, that's absolutely incredible. You know, you, you lost five pounds in a week. When's the last time you did that? What was the first thing you noticed when you got on, you know, got on the products? And I said, well, I did feel a little bit more energy. He goes, that's incredible. You felt more energy. And since then, what's happened? Well, I lost the five pounds and my jeans are a little loose. That's absolutely incredible. What's the best part? The best part is it tastes pretty good. I think I can do it for the rest of the month and lose 20 pounds. So he repackaged me. So those are the types of stories that we start with. They're little mini stories. But then you learn to get into full crafted narratives where people read your letters. It's like a soap opera. How many of you guys watched soap operas in high school? You guys can say you didn't, but somebody did. I remember I used to, I could go turn on certain soap operas today and follow the storyline. Since 1984, I haven't seen it. Because there's a narrative, there's a long lasting story that goes through. And everybody thinks, I don't have a story. Yes, you do. I don't, I can't inspire people. Yes, you can. I haven't made any money yet. It doesn't matter. Guys, you can't make money if you don't talk to people first in, in some way or another. It's not possible. You have to tell a story and you have to attract someone. So if you're waiting to make money to tell a story, you got to backwards. You have to tell a story to make money. Really got to get that. And when you learn these skills and then you put them in, now all of a sudden you know what to say in your videos. Now all of a sudden you know what to say in your blog post. Now all of a sudden you're able to create that capture page with that little welcome video. Because we're showing everybody simple techniques, right, General Hospital, right? Simple techniques, but people are not stumped by the technique. Guys, I can show you how to use the funnelizer and create a page in five minutes. But then people don't make it. If you know how to make it, why wouldn't you make it? because of all the issues that I'm talking about. When you get past those things and you put it all together and you understand, now you can sell, we have products here that you can sell up front, little $7, $9, $27 products, you can sell to create cash flow and get interested people. Because people like to learn about, tomorrow night we'll be packed out. You know why? Because everybody wants to learn about how to get leads. How easy is it to sell someone a $7 product about how to get leads? It's super easy. You make seven bucks, well, we take out a couple cents for the, uh, for the processing. So you make six, six bucks and change, right? Which will allow you to go run another ad. You can run a Facebook ad for five bucks, guys, six bucks. So you sell a product that interests the person, you get them inside of your system. Now you start sharing stories and crafting narratives with them. And the next thing you know, they're on your MLM team. Boom, they're in, boom, they're in. And you have cash flow and you have residual, cash flow and residual. And that, my friends, is the magic. Attract them with what they want build a relationship, and then show them what you're looking to get them into. You can't lead with an application. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Would you like to sign up for a $150 bill this month? We're just going to bill you every single month for $150. Bucks. We'll send you something for it, but would you like a bill? No. No, you already have enough? You yeah, don't want a bill. Because, guys, when you're leading with the opportunity and with the application, that's what you're doing. Chris, would you like me to show you a great way to make money? It's just a $7 little course. Absolutely. Yeah. Seven bucks. I can't go wrong. Yeah, I'll take that course. And then I put you into an autoresponder. And now you're starting to connect with me. And now you start to trust me. The phone rings and Chris goes, you know, I've been reading. I, I can show you six of these letters I got today. I've been reading your letters and watching your videos for a while now. And I just feel like you could really help me. When's a good time to talk? And that's what happens. And then you get them on the phone. You talk to them. And then you show them things. You point at things. And it's not a big pitch. You don't have to get them. I haven't gotten anyone in a long time. I haven't called a lead in a hundred years. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with calling leads, but when you run a system like this, they come to you and then you talk to them. I don't even think of them as leads. I think of them as people I can help out and you see if you have something that'll fit. It's pretty simple guys. It's pretty simple. And when this happens, it's magic. Again, it's not about the mechanics. It's about you. It can be outsourced. We have tools to build them. You know, the mechanics are not an issue anymore. Back in 2000, how much do you think, what, what did that guy have to do to build that website? A lot. That was a problem. Today, what do we have to do to build these websites? Nothing. 
nothing. It's easy. Getting leads is stupid simple. Leads on demand. If you're hesitating to get leads, it's because you don't know what to write on the page. You don't know what to write in the ad because you don't know how to craft a story. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking real quick to see if there's any other questions. Nicole asked, and this is a little bit off topic, but when using the funnelizer, do you not recommend sending them to a capture page and write to a thank you page with a sales video? It completely depends on the setup and the outcome that you're looking for. So again, this is something that you really need a little guidance on because sometimes it is the right thing. The right ad and send them in to write to a sales video is the right thing. Okay. And then sometimes it's not the right thing. It really depends on the funnel setup that you're doing. It depends on where the traffic's coming from and the nature of the traffic. Um, so it's something that I can't just answer off the top of the head. Uh, okay. Um, Tiffany, you know, I didn't learn the art of storytelling from a book. I learned it from people. Um, I'm sure there's some great books out there, but I highly encourage you to plug more in with the leadership uh, where you are and here at MLSB. You're going to learn it faster. Um, guys, my old, my favorite line is, I can't teach you to swim if you won't get in the pool, right? If I gave you a book on swimming, how would you do? Here, Anil, read this book, learn how to swim, and then I'm going to throw you in the pool. You should be fine. <laughs> right? Just read the book. Let me dump you in the pool. You should be fine. So I'm all for books. I have a, we're sitting right here by my, you know, part one of my libraries. I have another library upstairs. I read extensively, but I libraries, I have another library upstairs. I read extensively, but I learned these skills from people. They're passed from people to people to people. Uh, okay. I'm just reading all this. Um, Julie, I, I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm humping my deal here, but she asked about what's the best path to learn start to finish and master attraction marketing. I would recommend my course, truthfully, um, especially with the live sessions that we're going to be doing. Um, and just a heads up, guys, we had some technical problems. When we originally recorded the course, I had internet problems in my neighborhood. They've since redone it all, and my internet is great now. But there, during that time period, there's some sound issues on some of the recordings, but the recordings are so good, the content's so good. We didn't throw them out, but what you're going to get is you're going to get the original recordings and you're going to have to deal with little sound issues. It's really not that bad, but if you want to be fussy or think it's not professional or whatever, we were doing hangouts and we had sound glitches. Um, but then you're going to get a whole month. And again, I'm not going to talk about it tonight, but you're going to get a whole month of live interaction again, refining all of this over. So um, you get the recorded course, plus you're going to get all this new stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, the course that I mentioned, if you're an MLSP member, it's under your store, uh, should be there. I think they put it in the store, but you also can get it at attractionmarketingintensive.com. Um, I was an insane introvert. People are asking about introverts. Um, I was an insane introvert. That's why I learned this. Um, people think I'm an extrovert because when I get on these things, I'm like hyper or when I go to an event. But the reality is um, I generally don't leave my house except for grocery shopping or some event. Um, I generally, the reason why I don't make phone calls is I hate making them. I'll take them, but I won't make them. You guys think I'm crazy. I am crazy. I don't, I'm very much an introvert and this whole system allows me to only talk to the people that want to talk to me. That way I don't feel funny because if I have to just schmooze around, I'm not good at it. If you put me in a party with a bunch of people I don't know, not good at it. Uh... I do not have an ebook I've written on this dance, but uh, at my site, um, which we don't promote on these calls, but you can look me up. Um, there's, oh, six years worth of stuff over there. Um, Debbie, to become a student of this course, it's attraction marketing intensive. Uh, is, is personal experience bias when you sell a product? Um, you know, that's a great question. I don't really have enough, uh, enough time to really cover it. Kim, find me on Facebook or something or in the, in the MLSP group and ask me that question, and I will answer for you. I'd love to. Um, 
the course, if you guys are asking when will the uh, intensive start in April, I'm going to do at least four live sessions during the month of April. They haven't been scheduled yet, um, but the course is available now with the recording. So that's what I want everybody to do is get through at least two units before we dig into that, because um, I'll do uh, four sessions um, that cover, you know, the first two units, a session with the first two units and so on and so forth. Um, Lorraine, I'm not sure I understand your question about can we write about the ingredients in detail about the products. If you're talking about nutritional products, um, I would never talk about ingredients ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And here's the last question and a great one, which is I just started Attraction Marketing last December. I started on Facebook and don't yet have a website. Do you consider a website critical to success? such that I should put my energy into getting it rolling. Um, Lynn, you got to have a way to capture leads. You can do it through a Facebook fan page. Um, there are other ways to capture leads, but you must have a way to capture leads. Attraction marketing. I have a funny feeling that you think you're doing attraction marketing um, and because you're on Facebook, but you're probably not because um, you don't have the whole big picture and the umbrella of what it looks like. Um, you must have a way. There are four things we do. We collect people. We have to have a way to attract them. Could be ads, could be videos, could be chatting with people, could be networking, could be, you know, there's all different ways to attract people. So we collect them, we capture them, we have to get their email into a list. Uh, we communicate with them, we email them out, we can be talking to them, we can be doing webinars, etc. And then we point at things to buy and we close them. And we don't, I don't do the close thing. You know, I just pointed something like tonight. I said attraction marketing intensive. There's a link. Go look at the page. The page has a sales letter. The page will do the selling. If you're interested and I point, you'll go look at it. If you're not interested and I point, you won't be offended. You won't feel like I hard sold you. So there's four things we do. You have to have a way to do all four. There's the other nail I lost today. I lost both of them today. See, look at that. It's terrible. It's embarrassing. And Neil, don't tell your wife. I'd be embarrassed if she knew. <laughs> it likes you care. <laughs> I want a sorry. I want one of those dresses. I really do. I'm obsessed. I've been watching movies. I'm obsessed. I'm talking to you. She knows where to get them. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get you. We'll get you one. Hook me up. Maybe for my wedding. For my wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Years, All right. Maybe. Sounds good. For my okay. Have, have we'll get you. I, I would go with my tiara. Wouldn't it look good? Good. It would. It would look perfect. <laughs> So attraction marketing, it, it, it really is a sequence, guys. Now, the sequence can be done in different ways, but the sequence, there is a sequence. Uh, um, yeah, Keith, I'd love to answer that question. He asks, um, well, he says he knows the answer. Well, then I don't know what you're asking, but uh, what's the difference between my course and Mike Dillard's magnetic sponsoring? Um, Mike Dillard's book, which is not available as an affiliate product anymore, is only available on um, Amazon, I do believe, um, is and was a 60 some odd page sales letter for his marketing system. Um, it was 60 some odd pages of sharing these concepts with you and then basically telling you why you needed his system. Um, and it is a magnificent book. I have three hard copies and I have uh, the digital version um, and you guys should read it. Uh, my course is a hands-on, let's build it course. Um, it's not a, uh, a book to read. He doesn't cover the aspects of how to build it. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, it will be after Easter. Guys, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, my birthday is April 3rd and it's my birthday celebration is to do a month of what I love. So I'm throwing everything else and I'm spending a whole month uh, working with it. Chris knows, and Anil knows too, there's nothing I love more than working with an energized group. And if, if, if I don't have energized people to work with, I get bored. So um, for my birthday, I'm just doing this celebration. That's why I'm doing the course. We actually cut the price. We dropped the price $200 and we're giving you all new bonuses starting next week. Um, so it's kind of cool. Uh, and, and Brian thinks I'm crazy because he, doesn't, he didn't want to drop the price. And I was like, no, let's do it. I want this in the hands of more people. Uh, so it will not, we will not start until after Easter because April 3rd is my birthday and we'll close it out. The sales for, you know, it's always going to be available for sale, but the bonuses will not be available. Um, and then we'll probably start, you know, after that Monday. Um, Connie, if you want it now, you can get it and start on it. Um, I will announce the bonuses next week. You will get them. Uh, if you don't want it until you hear the bonuses, uh, you'll hear about them next week. That's fine. Um, uh, excellent. Good, Lynn. I'm glad you grabbed it. And uh, 
I don't understand your last question there, Kimberly. Should I post that on the page or as a status? Not sure what you mean, but if you get me really quick, I can answer it. You guys can, you know, it's late, so I just wanted to be able to answer questions. But commentary, Chris, you've been quiet because I've been running my mouth. Not your fault. But yeah, what do you think? I've been, I've been listening and trying to absorb. It's crazy to look back at a site like that, though, isn't it? And look back and see that that site was the precursor to magnetic sponsoring. That site, and there's many different versions of it, um, but that that was the version that I hit on. That site it changed over time. Let me show you what's cool about the Wayback Machine. Wait, let me turn on the thing for a minute. There'd be a whole lot less. Show everyone your first captive page. What was that, Anil? What was that, Anil? You'll have to show everyone your first capture page one day. You know what? I have to. I have to, I have to find the um the screenshot of it because the first one's not up anymore. I finally didn't renew the domain because I kept paying for it, but I knew I wasn't going to use it. Um, the Wayback Machine is cool. Can you guys see my screen now, Chris? Yes. Yep. Okay. So you see this here? This is all the times that they have a shot of the site. So if I go back, I can go from 2000 all the way through. I don't even know if there was anything here then or somebody else grabbed the domain. That domain, I think, stopped existing probably in 2006 or so. So I'd have to look and see what all of these are. Um, but this was the peak periods here, this period, um, and you know some different periods where they had you know, and traffic then is very different than traffic now because think about how many people were on the internet then. So I can go through and look at all the different versions of the site. So if I go to 2001, it's different. Um, so it's really kind of cool. Um, how our training incubators and lead programs work. This one, the links aren't here. This one, there used to be links to all kinds of stuff over here. Um, and they're not there. But there were all different versions. And there's some pretty heady copy in some of these letters. Um, so it's a, which of these seven mistakes are you making in MLM, institutional advertising, you fell into management mode, making MLM your business, not being personal, not being realistic, losing focus, becoming a computer jockey. And then his CEO was often was down here because the science hadn't been figured out yet. But guys, this is when everybody got like three emails a day and they were excited about it. So you didn't have to pander to try to get the opt-in. By the way, that's one of the main reasons for those of you that have studied my stuff, I never pander for an opt-in. I don't do the big hypey offer. I think you have to in the beginning offer some something sound, that sounds kind of slick, but as you progress, you'll figure out that you weed out people. I'd rather weed out people before they even get on the list um, than later. So that's why my list is smaller, tighter, and, and very responsive. Guys, I, I regularly get a 25% open rate on a, on a big list, which and not a big list like some of those guys, but we're talking thousands and thousands of people and I'm getting a 25% open rate. And for those of you that know anything about internet marketing, uh, you know that that's silly. So it's pretty cool to be able to look back in time and look at the components and look at how things have changed and what um, is different and what is the same. And the end game is that, um, you know, it's, it's about the stories and it's about the connection. And if you read through his stories, he would tell you all the stories of his trials and tribulations of failure. Everybody thinks I have to tell you how I made it. People actually like to read about failure. It's funny. No, the price now we dropped, it was $497. People originally paid $497 for the course. Um, and I actually worked with them almost every day back then. Um, so we dropped the price down to $297. It will not be any lower. I promise you it will never go lower than that. Um, this course will be available long term in the back office at MLSP, but these bonuses that I will offer next week will not be with the live contact and the live trainings and, and, and all that stuff. And I'll probably throw something else in because I'm, I'm an over, I, I overdo. I can't help it. Um, oh, Kim, just find me wherever. Just find me wherever. Um, Lorraine, to answer your question, I am currently not building a downline. I uh, was number three in my last company. Um, and then I was involved in another big launch that unfortunately did not work out. Um, the company did not progress. Um, I was one of the very top affiliates there and, and uh, did make some nice money. And then 
some stuff happened and it was a little disappointing. Um, so right now I'm just primarily focusing my, I use MLSP as my primary program because um, I love it. It's good money um, and I can help a lot of people with it. But you certainly can uh, be here, learn how to utilize it and um, utilize the tools and use it to build any MLM you want. Absolutely 100%. And I, I built MLMs through systems very similar. Um, very similar. I built, in fact, the one that I was number three and I built through here. So, so that's the answer. So I think Anil has to go to bed because he has to get up early and go to NYC, baby. Uh, uh, Wendy, it will be just like, um, no, it'll, it, attraction marketing intensive is through the MLSP back office. It doesn't have the membership site and stuff like, uh, like the other ones do. No, because we built this one before we did that. So very simple. You log in, the recordings are there. There's no big discussion, whatever. I will be creating, I have a Facebook group for this. Um, so everybody gets to go in there and that's where you get to hang out with me. And here's the funny thing, that Facebook group has been active for two years. Now, whether people use it or not is up to them, but I've always shown up whenever somebody says something. So if you are an active participant, uh, once you buy the course, you kind of get me for the rest of your life. You're stuck with me. So um, that's it. So that's all for tonight, guys. I just want to thank all of you for being here. Chris and Anil, thank you for coming and Anil sharing a couple of stories. Maybe uh, I can get you to come out and share some of the trials and tribulations because I think your story is really profound. Anil built a big list. Anil did all the stuff that he was supposed to do and he was hemorrhaging money. Uh, and then he turned around and he kind of learned about all of these different concepts and he was able to reverse that trend. And um, it's pretty cool to watch the difference when he learned these skills versus just trying to plow traffic. Guys, I love traffic. I love advertising. People think I say that that stuff is not good. It's wonderful. Traffic is the lifeblood of, of everything, but you have to be able to talk to people in some medium. You have to be able to put them into systems that lock them in. And that's what we're talking about here. So we get them in the door, we keep them with you, we get them sold, and we upsell them over and over and over again until you have a rock solid, stable business that pretty much runs like a machine. And, um, and that's cool. And then once you have something that works like that, yes, you can buy traffic, run traffic, run ads, um, et cetera, 100%. Uh, yes, Heidi, you get to, if you bought the attraction marketing intensive, of course you get to come. Um, and Sarah, you can buy it whenever you want. Next week, I'm actually going to talk about it. Tonight, I wasn't even going to talk about it, but we just kind of got started on it. You can buy the course if you want to look at it over the weekend and stuff like that and get ahead of everybody else. Um, you can if you want to wait. Wait, okay. And by the way, guys, um, next week, part two, I'll be delving into stuff about narrative, stuff about storytelling. I'm going to draw some diagrams and pictures and show you what a great attraction marketing funnel looks like. I'm going to be talking about um, some psychology, et cetera. So we will do part two next week and I'm kind of excited about it because nobody's ever gotten to do two weeks in a row but they let me so everybody go see Mark tomorrow night he's going to be off the hook um, and of course if anybody is not a member and you want to be mlsp.com and on that note there's still a lot of you guys here anybody else need me before I go going once going twice sold she's out of here everybody have a great night and i will see you all next tuesday night join me back same bat time same bat channel tomorrow night go see mark um and then you know track me down on facebook if you need anything you can often find me there and if you're an mlsp member the best place to talk to me is inside of the mlsp facebook group just tag me uh and i will magically appear out of the ethers all right everybody see you guys later everybody have a great night take care thanks guys